the Pogols. Well now, this isn't where the Pogols live, is it? These are fields and houses where people live. Pogols don't live in fields and houses, do they? Pogols live in a different place. Yes, they live in the wood. They live in this special wood, in Pogol's Wood. Let's go in and see if we can find them, shall we? Come on. Now, where is Mr. Pogol's tree? Ooh, I can smell something. Ooh, yes, a lovely smell. A smell... Mmm, a smell of new baked bread. Who could be baking bread in the middle of a wood? Look, there's some smoke over there behind that tree. Yes, there it is. Oh, shh, that's Mrs. Pogel. Ah, that's doing nicely. Another ten minutes and it'll be ready. Oh, I do hope it'll be all right. I wonder what else we will need. Mm, honey would be nice. Are your breakfast ready, wife? Not yet, Pogo. Pogo, I want you to go and fetch me something first. Oh, do you? Well, that's a change now. I was thinking we ought to go up and pick some of those raspberries in the top meadow. They'll be about ready by now. Oh, any day will do for them. Today? I want some honey. Honey? Yes. You know, wild honey. There's often a swarm or two of wild bees on the edge of the plantation. You go and see what you can find. Can we come, Pogo? Tug and I? Up in a gulp? Well, it doesn't look like we'll get any breakfast until we get back. So I reckon you might as well both come along. Though, wife, I find all this going out before breakfast makes me very hungry. I'll have a proper breakfast waiting for you when you get back. Ah, uh, like always, I know. Bean cake and a mug of beech nut milk. No, Pogo, something nicer than that. Oh, ah, uh, nicer. Well, uh, what'll it be then? Never you mind. Now you go and fetch that honey. Go on now. Here's the little can. Off you go, all of you. I'm busy. I've got a surprise for when they come back. Oh, they'll be real pleased. I'll set the table out here in the garden. Now then, Pippin and Tog, we'll sit down here. Now you sit down while I tell you about bees and I'll tell you about honey. Now honey bees are collectors. They fly around until they find a flower they like the smell of. And then they land on the flower and crawl into it. And there's sweet stuff in the middle of the flower, sweet stuff called nectar. Now the bees collect this and fly away with it to their hive, where it is stored as honey. What is a hive? A hive is a bee's house. Like our house? Well, uh, well, yes, a bit like our house. Wild bees make their hives in hollow trees, but, uh, well, they aren't the same, really, not inside. Well, for one thing, there's thousands and thousands of bees in each hive, and they're all busy all the time. They're collecting honey and fetching it back and storing it and uh, looking after the young bees and that. If we find some wild bees, I'll show you the hive. But the first thing we must do is to find a bee, any bee, and then we have to watch it. And when it's collected enough nectar, it'll fly away back to its hive and we'll have to follow it. 
Oh, look at that, mate. Where? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, look. You see? It's climbing into the flower. You have got good eyes, Tog. Now watch it very carefully. Oh, there you go. Quick, 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 then, after it, Tog. Oh, Don't oh, lose oh, sight of it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Pippin, I'm wore out with running. Can you see Tog anywhere? Oh, look, Tog! Oh, look, Tog! Don't oh, hurry, oh, oh, oh. He's seen it! It flew over there! Oh, well, you run on, Pippin. I'll catch you up. 